This is Grant from Perceptive Data. Sometimes when creating a line chart in Tableau, the automatic y-axis range doesn't allow us to effectively communicate uh, the trend that we're seeing in the data. In this video, I'll show you a workaround for gaining more control over your y-axis range. To begin with, we're looking at a sample data set which simply shows us bookings over a period of years. What we can see here is there is a trend to our data. It sort of dips down and then goes back up, but it's a little bit hard to see because we're restricted between this 800,000 to 900,000 range that our trends happening in. Our y-axis is extending to include zero down the bottom. So what we can firstly do if we edit that axis by double clicking on it, we can take off the include zero tick box. Unfortunately, what that does in this circumstance is it only goes to over exaggerate the trends in our data. So now we're seeing a massive drop and a really um, heightened climb, which is not what we want. We want somewhere in between. What we could do is we could fix the axis. So we could choose the fix and we could perhaps put the fixed start range at being 600,000. So when I do that, what I notice now is that my um, white space under the here is effectively giving us what we want. So now we can see this nice little trending down and trending up. However, this can present difficulties. If this is a static data set, we know it's not going to change. That would be okay. It would work perfectly fine. But at the moment, I've actually filtered out some values. If I was to filter those values back in, what we would see is some of these values that are now in are actually going down under the range that my y-axis is allowing us to display. So if your chart has got, or if your data set is dynamic, that is, it might be added to and change over time, um, you can't really fix the axes in because you simply don't know what that lower value is going to be. So let's uncheck that all values and let's see if we can um, go back to the axis is. We'll turn it back to automatic. Um, let's see if we can do something and include zero um, to be able to trick Tableau into just restricting this range to around this 600,000 value um, without fixing it in. So the trick here is we're going to create a secondary measure. So what I'll do is I'll create a calculated field and we'll call this our baseline. And I'm going to make the baseline equal to 70% of our bookings. So I'll choose our bookings measure and we'll multiply that by 0 0.7. Okay, let's add our baseline now into our rows. And what we'll see now is we get two charts, one with the bookings and one with the baseline. They look very similar, um, but they do have different axis ranges with the baseline representing 70% of the bookings. Let's put them on the same chart by selecting the baseline measure up the top here, and we'll put it onto a dual axis, and that will include both measures on the same chart. What you'll notice, though, is we've introduced a secondary Y axis, and the values here don't correspond, or they don't synchronize with our original Y axis, which is why the measures are actually overlapping each other. So we'll right-click on this axis over on the right-hand side and click to synchronize the axis. And what that does now is it brings our baseline into view. This is now how we can trick Tableau because if we now decide not to include zero, and I'll show you that, we'll take off the include zero, Tableau, because now we have this secondary measure on there, wants to keep this measure in the, the view. So now our range is only extending down to this, is extending down to include that secondary measure, which is down to about 550,000 or so. Okay. We need to hide this right-hand axis, so we'll right-click on that one and we'll take off the show header there. Now, obviously, we don't want to show this baseline. We want to hide it from our original view. So how we can do that is we can make sure we've got that one selected over here in the marks card and we can change it from a line to a text. That will change it from a line and now populate it with text. And because we haven't put a text in the marks card here, any text, it's defaulting to ABC. So let's trick it by putting in an empty string. So I'm going to create a calculated field and we can call this blank. And I'll make this an empty string, two quotation marks together. Now, all we simply need to do is drag the blank over onto the text and we now have our single uh, bookings chart and we're seeing a nice little trend there without all the white space down to zero that we had previously. So this is a tip from Perceptive Data and Perceptive Data provides Tableau consulting. So drop us a line if you need support with any of your Tableau projects. We're at perceptivedata.com.au. Thank you.